Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of Altenin's <laughs> Gaming Shoot the Shit Saturday. The segment here where we talk about nothing, talk about everything, and basically shoot the shit. And the big news around our channel today is the return of the illustrious Valkyrie Grinder. Hello. <laughs> return for the second time since she's already been in like two videos and it's not really an illustrious return since it's, you know, it's... This is your official video. welcome back, okay? This is no, her... the other video was official welcome back. You just said it this on the other stream. The shit well, well, this is the, the her first official return to shoot the shit. Okay, how about yeah. that? That's better. All right. She has been gone from our shoot the shit videos for months. And if I may continue, we've also got, as you heard, Mr. Ringleader064. Mm-hmm. We've got Obsolete 2003. Yo. And Nicholas Zombie. I just got a loach. What? Oh, no, I'm sorry. It was a dance. I caught I a dance, everybody. Oh. <laughs> nice. Oh, there's a tarantula. <laughs> oh, yes. Hello. Tarantula. Hello, podcast people. <laughs> I'm going to get this tarantula. I hope Hello, your loach doesn't bitch. reproach. What Because yeah, <laughs> Animal Crossing has dead bitch. jokes. Oh, I died. I got, I got hit. I'm dead. Uh-oh. They no. give you medicine for wasps, but they don't give you medicine for fucking tarantula bite. You just fucking wake up, drag to your home. Yeah. Who did that? How did I get there? Date rape, date rape. <laughs> it was Kyle. I know it was. <laughs> anyway, this is a podcast, right? <laughs> hey. How's everyone's week is, man? That's a hilarious little moment. So, really quick, guys, if I may. Before we, we get into this officially, I, I want to take a quick moment to uh, say that we, I think I speak for everyone, I say when we hope that you're all staying safe out there amidst this uh, epidemic, this pandemic that is that is going on right now. And I do want to take a moment to thank all of our essential workers, all the people who are essentially putting their lives on the line by keeping this country and really the world going all of our medical and healthcare workers all of our delivery drivers all of our factory workers even the people in the and, fast food and industry including the wwe which is considered for some reason a w uh, essential business in florida <laughs> <laughs> i hope you all know that i did not that's insane but most also important... again you're welcome <laughs> most importantly we want to take a moment to uh, remember those who have lost their lives to this horrible thing. A lot of things that we see are just numbers and statistics, thousands and tens, tens of thousands of people that have lost, lost their lives, lost loved ones, but we can't forget that there are people, these are actual people, they are family members, they're friends, and they're to anybody who is afflicted or affected by this or has friends or family that has been afflicted or affected by this, we hope that you stay strong out there. Um, our hearts go out to you. We are we definitely accompany you in, in uh, your, your sympathies and in your sorrows. Um, if you are on the path of bouncing back, if you have been affected by this and you're, you're bouncing back from this, we definitely wish you a speedy recovery and a speedy convalescence. And to, again, any of those who are on the front lines essentially because this is a war much like our soldiers and our troops the way we have to support them when they you know are out there fighting the wars we have to support our healthcare workers and we wish you godspeed and thank you to, if, if this can reach anybody we thank you for everything that you're doing indeed so that's my piece all right so you're done talking for this podcast no i'm just <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said that was your piece. That's so now he's done. Now it's our time, folks. Oh, shut up. Animal Crossing. Actually, I've got a list of things that I'd like to talk about, starting with my, the treatment I get around here. So, uh, anyways, we'll be done. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll open the more the, important things. Did anyone see the link I put, or the images I post in Discord? Yes. <laughs> good. Good. We can use that for uh, when we talk about WWE being essential. How the fuck? <laughs> Fucking... Anyway. Yeah, so WWE, I guess since we're talking about that, yes. Um, was Rick, Gov Rick DeSantis, the governor of Florida, yes. declared WWE an essential business in Florida? And at the same time, XFL's bankrupt again. <laughs> 
You win so, some, you lose some, Vince. <laughs> sometimes you lose them twice. And Vince, some people, I gotta say about Vince McMahon, people paint him as this like eccentric genius. I think Vince McMahon is a guy who just has enough money to take a bunch of ideas, throw them at the wall, and eventually he'll get lucky enough to make some stick. I mean, he's had a bunch of fucking flop, stupid ideas. The bodybuilding league that he fucking did, XFL, it was a bad idea even the second time around. Um, you guys see the Brawl for All? Anybody? So his defense though with the XFL, this whole Corona thing kind of came in. I don't think that really helped the cause. It would have failed. You remember that time God and Vince wrestled? Yes! <laughs> this was God's revenge. God wrestled Vince McMahon. Or God was Shawn Michaels' tag team partner, wasn't he? You, you, had the, you had the spotlight I, come I down have, the, the yeah. path and everything. And Vince pin God. Oh my god. <laughs> laughing now, Vince. He's laughing now. This whole thing is Vince McMahon's fault. Basically. It's, it's, it, it, Most it, things are. It's a slow burn with the Almighty. You know, he's he, he was biding his time, just kind of wringing his fingers. He's like, you'll pay, Vince. You'll pay. But at any rate, um, did you guys see the Brawl for All? Uh, Dark Side of the Ring episode? Yes, I did get to catch up on that. So that's another one of Vince McMahon's horrible ideas, which is stupid. Let's throw these wrestlers in a Technically, it wasn't his idea, but he gave it his blessing. He gave it the thumbs up. It was R Vince Russo, which is a piece of shit. Yes. Vince, Vince Russo's a piece Russo. of He's a piece of garbage. Can we get a picture of Vince Russo? I hope you put a chart. You hope what? I hope you put a chart <laughs> as a picture. A turd? Yeah. <laughs> Can't tell the difference. Now, Vince Russo is a piece of garbage, man. He, he, well, first of all, obviously, he's one of the main um, catalysts in the downfall of the WCW, but yeah, he just doesn't have any respect whatsoever for the business, the industry, or anything like that. Um, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, in short, WWE's had a lot of bad ideas. But, Nicholas, you wanted to talk about Animal Crossing. Be my guest. I did. So. An island update from Nicholas yes. Zombie. Paths have been laid down. Order has been set to the island. Things are good. There's that hey, uh, still roams free. What what uh what uh um or what, what bridge did you use for the uh that you I asked used about? The arch are you really doing this? Own way, the only true path. Are you really doing the only true path? So yes, we're doing some that. Fools this is... I think a brick pathway was more idealistic, but no, 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 no. That's the arch stone pathway is the true <laughs> beautiful pathway. Some fools. And you can use some dirt. You can use some dirt. You know, in the little more rustic areas. Some dirt, dirt pathway. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. A brick? No. If you can't tell, Esp wanted the bricks. Yes! <laughs> Gee! So, this is the level of hostility that I met with. Hey, 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 this... I'm not done with Animal Crossing. No, no, you're done! Right, okay, because you, you, you brought this on Person's yourself. You're being hostile now. You brought now. this on yourself. The level. The pot call if the kettle black. I will pot your kettle in the face. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm slightly aroused. <laughs> wow, that escalated quickly. <laughs> <laughs> you said you wanted to talk about Animal Crossing. I give you the opportunity yes, to talk about Animal Crossing, Crossing right, and no, you no, immediately no, no, take the, uh, the, the uh, you take the chance to, there is Animal Crossing to take a news. pot shot at me. There is Animal Crossing. It's like you can't there. resist. It's like I'm just sitting here solemnly, you know, trying to participate in the conversation, and it just turns into a, the attacks and beratements. What? What? Why? Just why? So Val, you've been playing Animal Crossing as well, right? Are you jealous? Yes. How is your I island? I think you're jealous. I uh, think it's envy. I, I mean, finally got that? three people on my... Well, I got the lamb and print. I'm still waiting for my third house to be built up. And oh. I just put myself in 3,998,000 uh, bells and debt just for uh, a room to be extended to, be to my house. Debt. <laughs> oh, to be in debt yeah. Tom Nook is great. Tom Nook is just... Mm, uh, what? Was that in like was that a, a, a noise of have... yeah? Not was... sure. No, not a pleasure. That it's was a, like you wanted. Hell like, no! Mm. I want to kneecap him. You 
originally is trying to start charging you for your fucking tent before you. I don't know. Captive. That noise didn't sound very much like you want a kneecap. Like, like, okay. Like yeah. I'm defended yeah. Tom Nook. It's a, it's an interest free loan. Tom Nook is an enter enterprising uh, fellow who is just trying to make his Although, own way in the world. It is Look, bullshit. Make a bamboo noodle slide. Ooh, nice. It is bullshit that we have to pay ten thousand bells to make houses for him. And on top of Fuck getting that. everything for him, on top of, you know, having <sighs> fucking spiders to... There are fucking you know, tarantulas out there, people. To... Yeah, and then <laughs> you have to be attacked by these wasps, and they say, run, run away from the wasp. No, there's no getting away from the damn wasp. No... I remember running away from a wasp and running to Kyle, and he was like, nah, I don't want any part of this, and he just ran away and left me there. <laughs> Fuck you, Kyle. You live in a society. Nah, I... I love Kyle. He's actually pretty great. You guys don't know about Kyle. Far as <laughs> he has a drum set in his house. And there's a, a weightlifter called Sheldon. He's my my sporty guy is Kid Cat, and I hate him, and I want him to leave, but I don't know how to get rid of him. Every time Sheldon <laughs> talks to me, he always mentions cardio, and I get instantly out of breath because I'm like, stop making me feel bad that I don't exercise. I did 7,000 jumping jacks today, and I still got all this energy. Now I'm I just gonna go run things. three miles around the island. Go, go choke on a nut, you damn squirrel. I hate the sporty ones are the worst. They are judgment best. I like the snooty ones better. They're cool. At least they're assholes and like like that. I'm like, all right. Have you had visitors? Yes. Oh, I have tons of visitors. What's How many name? hours are you in? Yes, that's a very good question. Probably more than a. The switch tells you, and I wish it didn't. How does it tell you? You go to your profile, and then you go up to your. It's a profile, and it'll show you how many hours you're in Animal Crossing. Or all games, actually. See this? I could tell you how. So. 55 hours or more. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first. I'm 130 hours in. You know, I'm like was lightweight. <laughs> okay, I've been staying up to about five, six o'clock in the morning playing this game. I mean, <laughs> and I you have to stay up till five because that's when it resets and you can go and see what's built. Yeah, see, they try to like the way I see it, it's like they don't instantly give you the stuff. They wait for you to get it for the next day, so it encourages you to get off the game. But then you're like, oh, well, I can do this. Oh wait, I still gotta do this. What? I, I have Nook Miles? Books. I can go to a different... Oh, they got you hooked now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you don't get off. You don't... And best thing about it is, like, you don't eat... Can eat peaches and fruits, and they give you extra energy to get your shit done. But you don't have to, like... It sounds like you need a fix. The found... The well, second I found out you can eat peaches... I'm also playing right now. The second <laughs> I found out you can eat peaches to move trees, I fucking just rearranged all my trees. It's great. It's so hey, fucking good. Do you have a character named Fuchsia? No, I don't. Who are my, who are my villagers? Let me see. I can look at them up right now. Okay, because, you know, and also, I don't know if, if your villagers are like this, but some of them give you sass. Like, she's like, come back from more, huh? Must be, um, the island must not be big enough. Precious, she always, she always calls you precious. See, I'm no, like, no, I don't got any of those sassy ones. Wolfgang's an asshole, but he's only an asshole, asshole to other people. The other animals, villagers, to me, he's really cool. So I got Kid Cat. He's the athletic one. He's annoying. I got Maria. She's like a wrestler. I don't know. She's okay. I don't want her there either. She's a bunny. I got Apple. She's adorable. She's a hamster. She's neat. She's using medicine sometimes. I got Peaches. She looks weird. She's a horse. But she also gives me medicine, so I treasure her for that. <laughs> I have Clay. He's another hamster. He looks kind of weird. I could, I could do without, but he's all right. He's grown on me. Wolfgang, of course, the asshole is cool. He's fine. I got Sylvia, the squirrel. I really just wanted to have ten villagers, so I just took her. I kind of, she's nothing. She's just, she's a background character. She means nothing to me. <laughs> I have Zell, the gazelle. He's the baddest motherfucker because he's black and white, has this cool little fucking vest on, and he has horns, and he's, he's, he's just dope. And then I got fucking, who is this, Kyle, as I spoke about him before, another wolf. He has some cool stuff in his house, like guitars, and a piano, and a camera. Kind of looks like he's stoned all the time. 
I don't know. Sometimes you just go over to Kyle's house and just chill. And then so there's I Raymond. The last one. He's a new. He's like a new villager. He's this cat with two different colored eyes. I think he's. I think he's homosexual, which is cool. I want diversity at my village. You need that. <laughs> yeah. So and that's my, my two, villagers. So my two favorite characters is Wendy. We're not and Harv. done. No. Wow. We're Continue, not. Don't Val. Be rude. So have you met Harv or Harvey? The dog? Yeah, where you go to yeah. this village the to take hippie, photos. The stoner boner. Yeah, he's he's uh that guy from that seventy show. Yes. He's strong. He's strong. Yes, and speaking of that, I've been watching that seventy show. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> Fucking kitty's my spirit animal. What I was going to say, if I may get a word in, is that I think the elephant in the room, no pun intended, Animal Crossing. Uh, we don't have any elephants in our villages yet. Well, no. the, my, the, what I was going to say was, I think, and I think it's something that our fans would want, is you two need to get together and actually review this game. Or just ha just do a little in semi-in-depth discussion review. You keep review. advertising this, but nothing ever comes of it. I have done... My own reviews. You guys are not. I'm. That's. I'm pushing it. I don't have to be in every single review. I. How the hell am I gonna review Animal Crossing? I've never played the fucking. Game. I've never played a single Animal Crossing game. How am I supposed to review it? See, so see I'm telling you, would be perfect. Yeah, but you would have been a perfect person to have in the review because you could ask questions that, you know, like a mediator for, type. Like yes. for people who don't. I'm play willing to do that. If y'all want to do game. that, let's set it up. Let's do it. I'm. I'm willing to. If that's what it'll take, I'm willing to. I had told Valinovs to review Dead by Daylight. I'm trying to get things moving here, people. Okay, the gears need to turn. They've, they're they they they're oxidating. That. They're oxidated. I actually am gonna try to push out a new video within the next week or two of something that I've been working on. So yeah, I I think if and if you need me to kind of help, like be kind of not mediator, but kind of like a a guest interviewer or whatever i'm i'm down for that if that's what you want but yeah I, i'd say do it do an official animal crossing discussion video slash review i'm, I'm down so for anything it. animal crossing <laughs> all right then in that case at some point in the hopefully oh. near future look for that pro tip i just found this out like today there's a turnip market the sal jones turnips or the sal jones stock market it's fucking yeah. great anyway Turnip market, you can make tons of mud bells on that thing. If you get a turnip to rot, and like you forgot to sell it, and like, oh man, leave it outside, and flies and ants will be attracted, and that's how you get them for your museum. Nice. <laughs> so you're welcome, anyone who can use that. And if you don't, it's just fucking awesome. Pro tip. Yeah, pro tips. So we have, that's what we're about here. Hums, what have you been playing? I have been actually playing a little bit of uh, Doom Eternal, and which came out the same day as Animal Crossing. And oh, there you go, you and Ring talk about spirits. that. Um, what? Doom Eternal, doof. But it's pretty good. I'm digging it. Uh, up, up to the point where I just got the BFG gun, or the BFG. So I think I'm getting closer and closer to to the. To beating the, the game, but still got some ways to go. But did you, did you just start Hell Priest yet? No, not yet. I'm okay. close to locating it, but ha haven't gotten that far yet. But I I, uh, I just uh, got the second Hell Priest, and I just killed the Gord, the base Gordness, Gordness in Europe. Mm, and okay. I, I think the next one is I'm, I'm looking for that doctor to help me find the third Hell Priest. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm like what halfway through it. Sounds about right, because yeah. uh, you're you're pretty much a little bit before where I'm at. But I know exactly what you're, you're talking about. I just did that not too long ago. But yeah. I'm digging the game. It's violent. I like the music. It's kind of like have this heavy metal uh, animal. I also, I also like how there's that st story element that's in there. You know, yes. that really, really wasn't there before in the previous Doom games. In a certain aspect, I really enjoy it for that. Yes. Um, I think it's like one of the few positive Bethesda games right now. You know, because 76 is trash. And, uh, it is trash. Yeah. And, uh, you know, 
the only I was I was having a conversation on the Discord about Bethesda in general, and uh, the general consensus was that they dropped the ball with 76. I mean, we if you ever had to do the research, you know they didn't they didn't put their A team on it like they should have. They did it to an experienced crew in Austin, and uh, there was all sorts of controversies that they themselves started when the game was first released or was about to be released, including the the snafu with the rum, the mess up with the combat bags, the power armor edition being all fucked up on release. You know, just it was just yeah, it was a train wreck. It was a train wreck, and they're barely implementing features that have been in every Fallout game. And for some reason, it wasn't in this one. And it just made no fucking sense. So, but, I mean, I'm, I'm happy for that Doom Eternal is being so fucking good. I'm just wondering why they can't put that same amount of effort into every other game series right now. Again, the, what, what Doom Eternal was done by id, for the most part, it wasn't, but that's the kind of had a hand into it, but at the same time, they weren't the ones that had their hands in at the same time. It was do it that that did do what they were mostly the publishers. Did. Yeah, I believe so. So Bethesda themselves didn't have their hands in the cookie jar in this one. It was they let it do their thing because they make awesome. True, do- and in, in case of Fallout, it was all Bethesda. And, yeah, uh, uh, it was a Todd, uh, yeah. Todd Howard, yes. Todd Coward. Yeah. Hey, to- hey, Todd, we need to release the 36th edition of Skyrim with one minor change to have it in- re-released on the oh, PC and-, next- and stuff like that. There'll be next-gen editions when-, when it's the PS5 and whatever Xbox you comes I out. Never- gonna... I never played Skyrim, but there's so much Skyrim out there. I only played the original re- release. Same, so did I, which I loved it and I thought it was a great game. I don't know what the fuck it needed. So m- I don't know what the difference is with all these different releases. All I have is like the original release and I loved it as a game, um, which actually prompts me to kind of lament as well as to what Bethesda has become or... Um, Todd Howard has done it again. He's released on the Switch. He's released on the Switch Lite. He has released on Steam. By the way, now there's an HD re-release on Steam. Oh, that's what. There's another HD, 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 16 pay release. With new textures. On Steam. Yeah, with new, new textures. Skins or... yeah. yeah. Which, it, honestly, could be released for the versions that are already out already. But I, I did want to I... take a moment. Mm. Go ahead. No, I need to pray. I was going to say, I did want to take a moment to talk about fallout 76 and the wastelanders update because i will fully agree that fallout 76 was trash sadly so um i it's one of the few games i had i had heard horror stories and all kinds of bad stuff from fallout going 76 but blindly i had so much faith in Bethesda, and I actually remember having conversations with people uh, when they heard, "Oh, there's not going to be any NPCs and stuff." And I said, "No, no, it, it makes sense because if you think, I think about that was it, one of them. yeah." Well, I, I would say, "No, no, it makes sense because if you think about it, it's like the vault is just opening, so there's not going to be anybody. It's going to be just a a, a a barren wasteland. There's not going to be people, so it's going to be like the only people out there are going to be the the people that that you meet." So I was giving it. I, I figured that there would be enough nuances, enough. I don't know, just clues or exploration that it would make the game enjoyable and playable and it's obviously had mixed reactions some people have said they liked it some people didn't but immediately when i got into it my hopes were pretty much shattered because i realized it was it was glitchy as all hell first of all i mean the, remember the first day we played obs we we're getting followed yep. by the ghost gunshot noises um, that we yeah. couldn't fucking find. Or just wherever we went, that we would go into a building, out of it. There were gunshot noises. Obs was showing up naked. You <laughs> know, I was like, "Why are you naked?" He's like, "I have clothes on." I'm like, "No, you don't. Look, I'm looking right at you." So I had to do um, a fucking room naked with him. It was like, it was just glitches galore. It was just, it was just he bad. Didn't yeah, he so, liked that. Wow. I'm talking. I, it just brought your relationship closer. To For the love of God, who okay, I'm <laughs> But. But the, but my hope never subsided that the game itself would at some point get good. Prime primarily if, if because may, of the fact. Yeah, go ahead. If I may, not, I'm not trying to, to cut you off or anything, like that, but uh, you're to get you focused again. You played the original 
76. Now you played the new one. How was that I was, now? Because we all we I all know the history that. of the original. So yes, please. Well, anyway, I was I was coming to that. So I've always held out this hope that the game would be good, and I spent to, today uh, at the time of filming this. It's April 14th, and today was the day of the release of the Wastelanders update. <laughs> and I have to say, and I've said this before, and you guys know me. I spent three hours playing that game, which for me is a long time. I I'm hard pressed to do an hour and a half to two hours of a gameplay session of anything. And I actually had a three hour recording of that. And, and you can find that on our channel. Um, it's earlier in this week uh, for that video. And I have to say, the changes are not that big, but even the most subtle changes can be impactful. I'll give you an example. I came across, I was exploring, I came across a drunken wastelander settler he didn't have any kind of quest or mission for me he just kind of was talking who's a it's just these little interactions those little interactions can bring so much to it now so far it hasn't been it's been underwhelming it hasn't been a major increase but i didn't during my gameplay other than a bit of a graphical anomaly that i came across I didn't really find any game-breaking glitches. I enjoyed the conversations that I was having with the NPCs that I did have. Uh, there was a little cutscene, a little standoff in a bar with an NPC. I, I, I enjoyed getting assigned a quest, going to meet these guys, uh, you know, basically setting up a little camp and trying to get them to come to my camp. The NPCs come. Those tiny little interactions with NPCs can make all of the difference. And so far, I it felt like a Fallout game to me. What I played today, it felt fallout, fall, fallout-ish. Um, there was a, a, a place that was just farmers just tending to their crops. They were they talked to me that day, hey, beautiful day today, and stuff like that. That's pretty much all they said. But just that, just knowing that they're there and interacting with them, makes a huge difference. So I actually have to say that I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed my gameplay experience here today. I haven't come across anything groundbreaking, earth shattering or anything like that as of yet, but I can safely say that I will go back to that game uh, because today, from what I experienced, it felt like Fallout. So basically these are features that should have been in the game but weren't that were You're in right. Iteration. I've already said that. Like like yeah. offset, we've gone over that. Yes, they should have been. And you know what? That's yeah. one of the things that's kind of pissing me off, <laughs> especially I'll say this uh, Mike has been kind of pissing me off. He, he makes it a point to say, what? I will never play this game ever, and this game should die a horrible death, and this and that. And I'm like, okay, I understand. It was a cash grab at first. Ba Bethesda has definitely suffered for it, then rightfully so. I think they've fallen from that celestial pillar just... that they were... No, no, no. Here's the thing, though. It's not just the game. They were also deceptive about their business practices by releasing the game only on their exclusive platform, the Bethesda uh, software management, right? They also were deceptive about their, their yeah, out their... of date purchases, the rum, the canvas bags, the uh, canvas bag was a horror. The delay yeah. on on the helmet, you know, was a two a two hundred or two hundred dollar uh, order or item, and that you had the atrocity say, oh, it's delayed by several months, on top of the game issues right and then a measly fucking two dollar credit for the whole thing where you only got 500 atomic points which by the way is fucking nothing you can only buy like a, a half an object with that much right I, fu and I fully agree with everything you're not you're not wrong but i think i speak for the players who felt cheated like you are lucky enough to not have felt that because you had the foresight not to purchase this but there, I'm sure there are a lot of players. To me, I see it like what they did with the Transformers franchise, what they've done with the India with the latest Indiana Jones movie. It's like I went into it with such a huge fandom, wanting mm -hmm. so much for it to be successful because I am I was such a fan of the predecessor. Star Wars. Star Wars was another example, and then to mm -hmm. see it butchered, it. It breaks your heart. It's, it breaks your heart to see something, a property that you love and know, butchered. So it does I'm give me... I'm getting real strong Marvel vs. Infinite vibes. Wait, wait, what? Strong arm versus... Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite vibes here. 
Yeah. You but, know, it's another fine example, though, but had a, diff a slightly different result because of how it was approached. No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky also had a, 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 something of a similar problem, but it wasn't the a, exact same. Uh, they didn't symptoms. do the business practices as badly as Bethesda. Right. The, the problem was No Man's Sky was it was the developer, the the head developer just didn't know how to say no to journalists. And this whole the whole idea behind journalists is they tend to take one little snippet. Oh, you can change your character a little bit. And then they'll and then, then they'll go and say, Oh, by the way, you can do full customization your character, you can change whatever you want on it. You know, they just they tend to run away with it. It reminds me of the scene in the in the movie Casino where he's talking yeah. to a reporter and they're like, So would you say that you're the boss? Well, you know, when Mr. Green is not around and in, 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 in right. essence you're you're the boss. Well, I guess it could be say it could be said under the normal set of circumstances, not withholding other things that might be influencing this particular situation. Yeah, I'm the boss, and in fucking headlines, you know, he, he says he's the boss. Right. So, yeah. Now, and then uh, here's what I've seen too. Once the game was released and the shortcomings were quite apparent, the the the, 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 the designers themselves were very open about what how the failures in the of of the design and how they came out short they didn't try to buy you off with having this measly little compensation nor a delay about other stuff about the game right they said we will fix it they didn't offer any false promises they just said give us all the feedback you want you know tell us what's wrong you know what where do you see where do you see things mismatching and we'll take great efforts to do so they went quiet for a while right but over time, eventually they came out and released amazing free DLC, which rectified many, if not all, the issues that were with the game that was on, on, on launch. Versus, and by the way, that company is a very small company, only like 20, 30 employees. That's it. Versus Bethesda, which is basically a conglomerate of sorts, a huge corporation who has the backing of Todd Howard, as well as at the, at the minute initially launched the Austin team but that was just one part of the company right but even then it has nearly 60 maybe 100 people worked on it it's still more than the, and, and then what worked on No Man's Sky they right. and when they did bust for the efforts what they do they ban people they erase the reddit comments they, they do all out to do to erase control. the bad publicity Right, which you can on top do. of withholding the things, including the, yeah. the whole uh, thing with the Christmas stuff, where they're and, charging half price when it really was full price. And here's it. Hmm? Again, I agree wholeheartedly, and Bethesda definitely deserves all the bad publicity that they got and more for what they did. But I'm speaking purely from a fan's point of view. I want a new Fallout game because I love Fallout, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping that Fallout 76 going forward will be at least somewhat redeemable. And and from what I, I saw today, I enjoyed it. That's that's Can I yeah, I, I oh, let her talk. Okay. I don't I got one more thing to say about that before we move on to the next subject. Go ahead. You know, for um I've never fully played a Fallout game, um, nor have I beat it. But I started playing Fallout 76 and even being aware of how they screwed the pooch in a sense with everything I come to like this game um, I, I just I, I like the open worldness to it um, I haven't had any issues and I think it is a fun game it can be I mean I could see how if you have been with Fallout since the beginning how it could be um, upsetting but I feel like with the recent like updates stuff that um, there is potential of it getting better, and I am having fun with it, even though I'm still at the yeah, so... and, that's, and that's what counts. And, and and yeah, that's that's exactly my point as well. Like I, all of this business stuff and the politics on the back end, I will. I'm not gonna say, say I don't care. Thing, Go ahead. I, I will say one thing. Well, which will invalidate your entire point. Oh God. Now, I don't. Okay, go ahead. No, 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 no. Let me say this all before you interject. I have an exact point to make, which to me, on top of all the other shit, is the biggest fucking concern because they basically just trashed the entire franchise with one single fucking game. 
The Fallout universe is based heavily on lore. Every single game is interconnected with each other. In Fallout 4, which a lot of things are wrong, but it was a lot better than 76, had connections to Fallout New Vegas, it had connections to Fallout 3, one, even the first game I had connections to. Uh, the, the, every game has built so far has been built upon the lore of the previous game. Some minor retcons here and there, but generally they don't they don't nullify any other game, with exception to the non non con uh, canon games of the PS2 era. Now, Sony says this couple of themes. Which basically is a slap in the face of anyone who has, has been a long-time fan of Fallout. As anyone who has played 1, 2, or even 3, or even New Betas, will know that Fallout 76 basically says fuck off to every single game beforehand, because we don't give a fuck. And that demands not loyalty at all. They, they threw out the, the lore that was already established about the Serbians, about Brotherhood of Steel, it, it trashed a lot of lore involving the timeline of events because most vaults did not open until after a certain point. And then Bethesda decides to come along and say, hey, by the way, the presence in the game somehow. Hey, there are Serbians, even though Serbians did not exist for at least 50 to 75 years as established for the previous lore. Uh, we're just going to totally ignore all these other things because we want to push a game that you will spend money on and trash the lore in the process. You you talk like this is something that Bethesda has uniquely done and nothing else. How many movies and intellectual proper, properties listen, and franchises listen, are listen, there up? Uh, no, no, you got your. Hey, we're not you, talking about Terminator right now. You got yeah. your. You got <laughs> well, your, your your word out. Now let me say mine. That does not invalidate my point whatsoever because this is not something that is uniquely done by Bethesda. You're talking. You're you're talking as if you you, you said that you Bethesda, said you but said. But Negated the lore in such a way they had obeyed it as set by uh, was it uh, not Cinemax? Uh, you okay? Granted, previous... fine. Yeah. Granted, but but now, they talked uh, it out of the way for microtransactions in order to push a game to give it something to, that you specifically had designed. I wanted through the and the massive what have I, Okay, what have I been talking about? What's the, done the is today. done. No, the theme of today. Hi, I want. I wish there were different races, even though there has never been established any races, which shows that the game itself exactly. is trash anyway. I was saying that as a Fallout fan, I've I've played. I, Are the you only a Fallout two... fan if you actually disavowed the board lore though, and nor did what you oh, want. Oh, this you fucking know, look here, Edge Lord. Don't. Anyways, you two are just going no. back guys, and forth. Guys, so guys, guys. Oh, <laughs> This so is why you would never me. survive the zombie apocalypse. This is what yes. we we're talking about yesterday. Uh, no, that's, I'm gonna I would go look, that. Hang on, we're hang done. on. We're All done. I want to say, I want to no. say my last thing no. is just. I just want to say my last thing is that the only thing that matters to me is that as a fan, I hope that it's good. That's that's the point that I've been trying to make, and I don't know why. As a fan, that I be. want a Fallout game, not a microtransaction. And um, on that case, if you don't like it, then don't buy it. I bought right. it. I find it entertaining. I. I like the concept that I can play with as as I as he also owns it on PC. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna go all deep on the spectrum of the lore or whatever the fuck. It's I wasn't story. trying to go deep. I know. I'm, I'm just. <laughs> but all right. but if somebody's gonna ball, take it there, let's I'll take it there. Turn. You stop. Yeah. Hey, uh, I'm defending you. I'm agreeing with you. And I know what I'm talking. So shh. God. I like the game. I I think it's entertaining. I will probably keep playing the game. I'll revisit it as I already invest money into it. And all the other whatever hoopla that's already been discussed for a million times since it came out a year or two ago, whatever. Mm. But going forward, I'm still going to check out the game. I own it. I will keep playing it. And I'm ready to move on to another topic. The best Fallout games, Fallout Shelter. All right, so anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Ticketmaster, Dead Frontier 2. Dead Frontier 2. Yeah, well, we played Death Frontier too. We revisited that, and you brought up so, the Ticketmaster. Those are I like the I, I do like the updates so far because I played last time we played, and I was like, "What is this? What am I doing? What the fuck am I doing here?" You know that kind of thing. Dead Frontier. Yeah, I I like the changes so far. Um, the I do like the that the controls have massively improved because I remember the last time we played, 
I just did not want to play it at all. I was like, well, holy you know, shit, yes, have the controls improved. Because I just, I was, I was kind of, I'm being dragged along for the ride. Holy shit, I don't want to do this no more. Um, I am glad that, was it like two man developer team? Uh, yeah. Had done, I thought was a lot of massive improvement, you know, over time. You know, there's, there's the weapon system seems okay. It's, it's, it's still kind of clunky, but I can let it slide because, you know, it's, it's kind of meant to be difficult in a sense. You know, it's not to be like easy, you know, 360 yeah. no scopes and shit like that. In a quick nutshell, for those who haven't played it, especially like Nicholas who hasn't played Dead Frontier 2, it's a free game that's on Steam that, yes, I've never played the first one, but the second one is free to play that maybe you can try and download it. It's not too visually of a demanding game, so we'll see if we can try maybe include you. There's not like a real player cap of only four people to a squad or whatnot. Oh. It's kind of open world. Um, it's much more open world now. Yes. So there's still the same quest setup is still the same where you, you go to the random NPCs at the police station to get certain quests to go explore different areas to get rewarded. But I liked it. I thought it was fun and um, a bit entertaining as well. I'm curious just to, to play a little bit more. That's another one I wouldn't mind revisiting with you guys as well to check it out. It has some, I think it's yeah, massive, fun. massive improvements. The the movement was just such a like a relief. Like the the time that I played it last time, I felt like I was I I had my like hands and feet that were like like tied down to my hips or something, and I couldn't really swing. Um, it, it, the movements felt so mechanical and rigid, but now they felt a lot smoother. I found myself actually hitting the things. The hitboxes seem to have been improved, and especially the biggest improvement that I can comment on is just the fact that it is open world. Before, it used to be just one street. You'd go up and down the street, and there were buildings on this street, but now you find you have uh, an entire map, which the game actually is equipped with a map now because they have you know corners and and you know we can go down streets and stuff and there's there's it's it's much more open world um obs you had made the comparison early on that it was more um uh, it was it it was reminiscent of silent hill i didn't feel that yes. the first time now i did playing this last time I, I actually did have that that silent hill vibe from it this last time and i was telling us when everyone when we we're playing that last time and everyone left the game and i was just kind of just idle in the in the police department it was it was very very cool that i thought because at a very very faint distance you could hear the air siren going on non-stop in the background it was very faint you had to kind of like really be quiet and listen to hear it which i thought was super cool because obviously if it was very loud it would get annoying after a while but it was just recognizable at a distance where i thought that little extra detail was very cool with what whatever is going on in, in the lure of this game and um you know i do like the changes as well um i like how realistic the firearms are like when i was using the shotgun it sounded like an actual shotgun um it's still a game that i probably wouldn't play by myself i would prefer playing with other people like at yeah. least people who understand the concept of the games um, I like how they have amped the zombies because um, they are different compared to the last time that I played. Yeah, um, those fat running zombies. And the spitters. I don't remember them there being spitters um, in the last I know that they had the, the, the leeches and I know that they had yeah. the fire zombies, which I don't think we ran into any fire zombies this time around, which could do fire damage, it could set you on fire, but I can't remember if they had spitters. Did they have spitters off? I don't recall. I know they have some that are on fire and I think some radioactive ones, but I don't quite recall. Yeah, radiated, that. I remember that. Can we just take a moment here to appreciate that OBS is essentially the anchor of the group when me and Ring get going? I mean, it's not... Yeah, get going. <laughs> yes. And OBS pretty much just kind of quelled the storm here, so... Yes. Still the reason why you would never survive a zombie apocalypse. You I too. Balance. <laughs> <laughs> so, Please. one quick thing I want to mention. Did you guys hear that Disney for Disney Plus is making a live action or I guess a CD, a CGI version of their Robin Hood, the Fox, the animated Fox Robin Hood? 
No. Uh, the movie that inspired fur furries forevermore. Uh, that's gonna be strange. If I see, I, I don't know what the heck to expect of that. I don't know if it's gonna be like another cats it's or gonna, yeah, that's gonna be like cats. Yeah, I don't know what what that that will be, but yes, uh, basically Disney did did announce um, that they're making that they're remaking that, and it's still gonna be it's it's it's, it's gonna be the Animal Kingdom with anthropomorphic, I, I guess CGI animals, unless they're gonna do heavy makeup and costume are, like cats. Are they really calling? Because if, if they're seeing this live action, it's gonna basically gonna be like the the, the fake live action lion. Yeah, movie. it's th exactly that. It's yeah. essentially live live animation. I guess would be the better term for it, because obviously the you know Lion King is animated; it's not live action. Yeah, but yeah. I'm not dissing you. Just yeah, like, no. Why you call it? That's all I can. I mean, I don't know what the the actual term is, yeah, but yeah. but that's what they're that they're making, and I just think that that's weird. That's their their thing right now. It's their their cash grab to do this quote unquote live action with all their other movies and just to make a quick buck. Kind of like the Skyrim and, until like whatever twenty years down the line, it's like virtual reality Disney movies or whatever the fuck. Dude, you're fucking you you you're calling it okay? Uh, we uh, our videos are gonna be preserved here. Fucking 2040, they're gonna have a way so you can put yourself in the middle of the movie and like in virtual reality. And Ops called it that they're they're gonna remake all of the Disney movies as that. <laughs> Done. Talking about future movies, I just saw something a little while ago that I'm actually pretty hyped about. Not sure when it's going to get made, but apparently for Marvel's Doctor Strange 2, it's going to be directed by Sam Raimi. Holy shit, are you serious? The yep. Into the, the, the madness of the, of the multiverse of madness? Yep, Sam Raimi is going to now direct Dude, Doctor Strange. Dude, do you know what this means? The Spider multiverse... Exactly, the multiverse, meaning that it can branch universes. And you're gonna have the Tobey Maguire and the Andrew Garfield Spider Man's like fucking Doctor Strange's. Holy shit! And you know fucking Sam Raimi will, will do that. I yeah. doubt that Tobey Maguire would come back. Well, that'd be badass, though, man. That'd be fucking. It would be, but let's let's keep it in reality. Now, if you want to talk about multiverse, you part you'll have to think under them, but instead of like Miles Morales. Morales? Yeah, he yeah, the, the new Spider-Man. Spider yeah, after Peter Parker got murdered, it was actually oh, in the recent oh, movie. I know. The Green Miles. Goblin killed him. Spoilers. <laughs> yeah, uh, he wow. was also in the, wow. the Spider-Verse, which is actually a great movie. Which yeah, also Spider-Verse was really great. Yeah, they had the pig, the animated pig, the... Uh, who was the voice? Uh, the voice of the, the, the voice Spider-Man. Yeah, he was, I was actually Nicholas mean, Cage. Nicholas Cage? Nicholas Cage. Yes. Yeah. And then the anime, Spider Man, Spider Girl, whatever the hell it was. Gwen, yeah. dude, Gwen Stacy, was her name? Was that was the name? Yeah, uh, Gwen Stacy. The fucking boss, dude. Like, she was, she was like, a, like in the way a straight bitch because she actually heard, had her Spider Man die, but also lost her friend or some of that, or mom or whatever. Made her cold as fuck at the, at the start. And I was like, wow. I, I, I love the film. As a whole, like I thought it was great, and Peter so, Parker going back to the end, you know, well that Peter Parker going back to the end and just decided to man up and uh, face off, fa uh, basically did uh, what's her face? Uh, what, what was it? What was that chick's name? The I, I actually haven't seen the Into the Spider Verse, so I don't know what you're talking. It's about. It's good. You should watch it. Yeah, you should all watch it. Awesome. Watch, watch it right now. <laughs> Oh, you should. Yeah, you really should watch it. Uh, it's on Netflix, Mary Jane. so I can, but I just Yeah, haven't. when he faces out Mary Jane later at the end of the movie, like, like he has a chance to do it, and, you know, it seems like he's redeemed himself, basically. Yeah, Spider-Man's great. Because that Spider-Man was fucking hilarious, though. So it was like a Spider-Man, like, yeah, I'm just here. I'm... Jake Johnson, that's the actor who plays that Spider-Man. Yeah, he's great, because he's, 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 like he's like a little fat-ass in a way, you know, he's, he's eating food, he's eating whatever, he just doesn't care anymore. He eats anymore. feelings. <laughs> yeah. I, I did I, I will admit Ops that that geeked me out when you said the Sam Raimi with that when, when Sam Raimi is gonna direct that that I is know. fucking badass and yeah, I, I look I'm, forward to that. I'm a huge fan of Sam Raimi. Obviously, Hell yeah! He's gonna have his fucking yeah. blue car in there. <laughs> the only problem with Spider Man is, is Sony, really, and Sony and Disney and how they're constantly fighting over shit. So who knows? They're fighting over Spider Man. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's, that's how, how it's been, you know. I, I, uh, 
when they, when Spider-Man was introduced in the MCU in Captain America, it was just great. And Homecoming was just fucking awesome because of you know, it's a young, gawky Spider-Man. You know, the kind because I never saw the Garfield films. I admit I never saw it, but I heard about it. They're bad. I only saw the second one. I only saw the bad. first one. I didn't. I are didn't care bad? for it. I didn't care for it at all. The first one. Not yeah, they I, really are. Dude, he, the the thing that pissed me off about that movie is, is Uncle Ben gets killed and he goes skateboarding. There's it was no emotional response really from him. And I know people process things differently but to me he was just kind of like this the he was like whiny emo kid you know that was thrust into the world of superhero and i didn't care for that like it just they didn't they didn't put any impact on uncle ben's death which is the whole thing that shapes his life into spider-man and he gets you know the that great advice but yeah i know i, didn't, I hate I didn't that about him. homecoming too that they didn't they, that they didn't include there's no uncle ben at least he had an uncle ben well <laughs> to be honest it's hot me so. I get it, and I get Tony Stark's there, but it's like, fuck you. Well, it's just, yeah. if you think about it, they... they, they We've seen it. Batman's parents die like 25 times. I can see Uncle Ben die a third time. Well, right? I think that's why they're they're not doing it. I think they're trying to avoid that path. I don't... I, well, it, I get well, it. Well, it's not necessarily about avoiding the path. It's just that it's been done so many fucking times. With Twice! Right. Twice! I can do it in third the time. Movies, but this in the, is supposed in the, to be a real, the, the real Spider-Man in the then like, you know, 500,000 times or whatever, and it's yeah. done, you know? And besides, it wasn't the proper part of the storyline. That was something that happened in the past. Well, they're, they're throwing the fucking, like, uh, uh, what do you call it? The cr- cr- chronology of the movies all over the place. I mean, Black Widow is going to take place between Captain America: Civil War and Infinity War, or something like that. And it's like mm-hmm. yeah, they're they're going all over the fucking place. So I don't think it really matters. I think Nicholas has a point. They could have done a, they could have done a flashback scene. I don't care it, either way. But yeah, they could have done like a flashback. Or something. It's going to matter where where and what movie it's introduced. And I mean, as far as we're aware, as far as we've seen, we have not seen any flashbacks, which to me is just fine. Just because Peter Parker is already his own person. Well, isn't that the whole point of Uncle Ben telling Peter Parker about the great power comes great responsibility to like give him that push, that, that mental nudge that I have this special ability that I should do good things. With yeah, it? yeah, and they haven't even said that that famous line, which in in every single comic cartoon. I re- I don't know why. I love Spider Man. I fucking love Spider Man. Everyone loves Spider Man. But these Spider-Man. new Spider Man movies just aren't fucking right. I, I like don't it. know. Like, yeah, I yeah. enjoy them, but I I feel like the end, the Tobey Maguire were the best ones. I really liked that. It had, uh, the third one was a dead. The third one was stupid, true. but the third one was just kind of weird. Fucking, a bit. fucking second two one is badass. amazing. Yeah, the second one is is great. Yeah. It's fantastic. Two is godlike. Doc Ock. Yeah. Godlike. I love Doc yeah. Ock. Love Doc Doc and the multiverse one too. Just yeah, the, the them mock that was like she the, was awesome. Yeah. That was my favorite. It was also like you, you didn't know it, but you saw little hints like, wait a minute, this bitch sounds familiar. I saw Hold videos on. of the Doc Ock. How did in we the get to Spider Man? Where did we? Where did this come from? Ops Sam Raimi. Ops brought up Sam Raimi and Spider Man. No, I saw videos of the Doc Ock in the PlayStation game, um, oh, and dude, I really liked that. PlayStation game's the best movie ever. Yeah, I liked the way that they made that character. I really, I actually really did. So Spider-Man PlayStation Four is the best Spider Man movie. So real quick, in the first Spider Man movie of the MCU. We we obviously saw uh, what was his name the it was uh what 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 bad guy was it was Vulture, right? Which has really never been featured in the film before. Michael anyways. Keaton. Yeah, which he was good. Then we saw mm-hmm. Mephisto, right? What? Which Mephisto. Also was real good. Where? Mephisto. 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 I thought it was well done because he took advantage of Peter Parker's fears and his confusion because he was not sure of himself at that point. My tw- my thought is, who's next? Who is going to appear in the third film? As we do know, it's MCU, so it will have an impact somehow, somewhere. Dude, they're they're gonna have to do the Insidious Six. They've already alluded to um, a, um what's his name? Um, uh, Gar- Gargan, the Scorpion. Gargan. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Matt Gargan, he's the Scorpion. He's the one that shares a jail cell with um, uh, Tombs at the end. You know, he goes when Tombs goes up to him, he's like, uh, uh, "Hey, I hear that you that you know who this Spider-Man kid is." And and um, 
Uh, the vulture says, no, I, I don't know who he is. That Matt Gargan is the scorpion. The Insidious okay. Six hey, are one so, of... Speaking of Spider-Man and all his weird shit, sorry to cut you off. I'm not trying to say, you know, but hey. You remember seeing that Morbius trailer that no one cares about? <laughs> Michael Morbius, yeah, no one cares about yeah, Michael Morbius. Michael Keaton's in that trailer, and it makes no sense. It's, it's, I don't know what that means. It freaks me out. Michael Keaton's in it? I haven't even seen the and trailer. The very end of that trailer, Michael Keaton's here. He's like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm the vulture. And, yeah, and then, like, I don't know, it's just some shit I don't care. But it's, it's like, is that supposed to be intertwined? Anyway. And if so, please no. <laughs> Real quick, the Insidious Six, so these are potential, because these are some of the most prominent Spider-Man villains, so these are ones that we can still see. Um, Mysterio? The Insidious is going to piss me off. It's Sinister. All right, okay, go ahead. So I've heard it as, as both. I've heard... Sinister Six. Fine, sin Sinister Six, whatever. But anyway, it's um, Mysterio, Doc Ock, the Rhino, um, the Chameleon, uh, Scorpion, and Shocker? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, it's, a, it's a revolving door of people. Yeah, so the, well, those are the main ones. So we've already seen the Shocker. Not Electro, the Shocker. They're two different villains. There are two. One named the Shocker, one named Electro. Um, so I'd probably Shock say... The Shocker is a punk ass. Let's, let's all be honest about that. Shocker was... <laughs> I'd say it'd probably be Chameleon because they've done the whole scroll storyline where the people can assume, you know, the, those aliens can assume other people's faces. So if Chameleon yeah. would probably be a rogue one of those that kind of goes up against Spider-Man. That's essentially what the Chameleon is. He can face shift or he can um, uh, shape shift. Yeah. And he was like his first villain. I don't know. I've yeah. heard so, of him. So yeah, you're right. Four four of the Sinister Six has has appeared in all the MCU movies so far, which is Vulture, Mysterio, Shocker, and uh, Scorpion, which means only two left. I think they need Doc Ock. Doc Ock is Doc Ock is like almost, core. It's... almost like the Green Goblin. Yeah. Obviously, Green Goblin as well. Right. I think it's Green Goblin, Doc Ock, or Spider-Man's true villains. Well, I'm I'm not sure. Sorry about uh, Green Goblin. That could be a result of a medical mishap. Obviously, with Marvel's and Sword and research. Oscorp's there. Yeah, Oscorp is is in the, in, the, in it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Oscorp. Um, Doc Ock is very viable. Is isn't he in like New York, right? And yeah. You could be using it. technology that was, you know, used from all those machines that were left behind after the first invasion of New York. That's because exactly that, what Vulture did, though. Yes. Yeah. And that could be just a continuation of that, because research is being it, done. It could be like a con they, they make him like a construction worker, and those arms are just used oh to God, move no. heavy lifting or so. I'm just saying, Please, like, what no. they potentially do could that. do. That's disgusting. Because you know that they have science. But all the villains so far have been based in some form of reality. But also, that's as it was in the MC. There's nothing besides Scarlet Witch. There's nothing that is too out there in terms Thor of what it is. Thor is magic. <laughs> Thor is a special case. Anyways, Thor's, uh, but there's, there's nothing too crazy that has not been explained in some far off way. It, it's entirely possible. And I would like to see a Sinister Six. What the hell is WandaVision gonna be about? Is that is that in the future? You said that last time. We don't know. We'll yeah. watch it when the did show I, comes out. Did I say that last he time? He did. He did. It bugs me. I don't know what the fuck to... It bugs me. Did any oh, no, the, the show's gonna man. come out and he's like, what was that movie? Uh, Venom oh, was go terrible. Uh, I like Venom. It's gonna, be, uh, it's gonna be... It's gonna take place after you guys did the after ending, which is interesting because it has Wait, vision Venom in did? It. No, that's oh, Wanda. Oh, I'm talking about Venom. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm not about Venom. That's Venom. No Wanda Vision Wanda. takes place after Endgame. Yeah, let's talk about Venom. But I didn't like Venom. I didn't watch Venom. I, I like did. Venom I, I liked it. It, it just didn't fit in. in oh shit! Venom, Venom, Steam of Venom doesn't make sense without Spider-Man. No. It, it's like, hey, by the way, I'm a bad guy, but I'm a bad guy with you know. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Which, I'm curious about the next film. I think it did successfully enough where they're going to make the next film, especially at the very end when Eddie Brock, I think, was the one who got locked up, but the next to him was no, no, like... Eddie Brock went to go visit a... Uh... Oh, okay. So, spoiler alert for those who haven't seen it yet, but, but the whole little scene at the end was they go to like the, the Max prison or whatever, and Woody Harrelson... <laughs> That's the weirdest thing. That's Carnage. And yeah, so they're foreshadowing that Woody Harrelson is going to be Carnage in the next film. 
What the fuck? I don't know how I feel about that. Because Woody Harrelson normally is the comedy relief. Yeah, so. But Woody Harrelson does play serious roles once in a while. Mm -hmm. Kingpin? That's your born killers. Yep. I love Kingpin. Might as well fucking have Woody Allen as this fucking Venom. Like, well, I'm curious to see what and how they were going to do Carnage, especially if they have to be rated R, just he's a psycho. Well, so. well, if you think about it, Deadpool proved that rated R films do sell. Oh, of course. And, and for the longest time in the past, in recent history, that one, rated R films were straight away from because it wasn't, you know, it was too extreme. But Deadpool and Deadpool 2 basically said, hey, you can do a superhero film, including Logan, which was also rated R, by the way. Logan's also yeah. a goddamn masterpiece. Yes. And the yes, other it thing was, was they're, they're trying to make cash grabs for the tweens. They want to keep it PG-13 so they can get more seats, more butts in the seats. But then, but to your point, it's like, no, we can make a rated R superhero film to actually attract the adult crowd. Cause they I thought you were going to say rated R superstar. Edge is here? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking edge. You think you know me? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. But yes, to your point, they can and should keep making rated R films, especially it's just again the, there's the, the adult crowd that you want to see the violence and what have you. Don't butcher a movie to, to drop the rating to try and attract the, the younger crowd. Is Black Widow going to be rated R? No. no. What I'm curious about is how they're going to handle the X Men reboot. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm scared about that. I hope it's good. But... Yeah, uh, you know, they're gonna like, go all. I don't weird, like what they did with Spider Man, and they're like, "Oh, these guys are all teenage." And like, I don't know. They did that with Fantastic Four, and that was just yeah. that, the, the very last. Oh, that new Fantastic Four was horrible. Jeez. Yeah. I'm kind of fucking terrified of what they did. Last time after said, Endgame, I'm not really interested. In Same that. here. I've told Obs that to, to me, after Spider Man: Far From Home. To me, that was kind of like the end I of the I was not MCU. even interested in that one. That one, was, that I, one I mean, was good, but I was like, you know, end game's a real end. Yeah. To me, I'm like, yeah, I can move on now. It's like, uh, yeah. my it was satisfied. It's over. It was great. It was I would have been time. perfectly happy if it just ended with Infinity War. Yeah, I would have been perfectly happy. That would have been point. sick. Well, yeah. That would have been messed to be up. Fair, though, and then there's... like 20 years later, Infinity War 2. To be fair, though, there are several, you know, storylines which were left deliberately open. Including Thor and uh, oh, of course, dude. They're, 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 the, that's a cash oh, cow yeah. that they're gonna milk to death. And, and, and no Guardians fear, of the we Galaxy. Got we got, fuck, how's that Simpson song goes? Have no fear, we got stories for years. Like Marge becomes a robot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, man. They're, they're, like they're not gonna wrap up have. everything in a neat little package. They're gonna make sure that there's stuff that keep people coming back. But yeah, I, I agree well, with remember, Nicholas. That, um, well, a couple scenes because they also left a few scenes open before Infinity War. Uh, what's his name? Black Adam, I think it was. Black was from Black Earth Adam Galaxy. is DC. That's that's oh. Shazam. Yeah, Shazam. Black Adam is DC. I don't know the exact that's name, the but rock. you get what I'm talking about. The no, I don't. At, no. <laughs> The Ooh, guy who was at the end of the credits in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Oh, you're talking about Warlock? Yeah, I was like, Warlock. Black Adam Warlock. <laughs> Sorry. You know what? Shut up. Uh, but that was left open, and that was even before Infinity War, which means they had plans to continue. Dude, they've left Very fucking so the, fucking the second movie in the MCU. They allude to the leader, Samuel Stearns, and he hasn't fucking reemerged. Who? Don't wait for Howard the Duck. Samuel Stearns, the leader. Yeah. He's the one. He's That's essentially. That's when you know the over. Um, Samuel Stearns is one of Hulk's arch rivals. He's like, he's as smart as that. the Hulk is strong. He's, he's, he's his, name, his nickname is his villain name is the leader. He's one of. But they brought, oh. but they brought back General Ross. Yeah, well, you remember you remember the scene where that doctor is helping Hulk induce a reaction to become the Hulk. Um, and then he falls over and the goo starts leaking into his head, like dripping into his... The fucking... The Hulk goo. The Hulk, Hulk jizz in his head. The fucking radiated Hulk blood, jizz. you know? You know what I'm fucking talking about? This is escalating. I said goo, not sure. fucking... Hulk jizz. I didn't... I said fucking goo, not cum, okay? Shit. I, the, the fucking irradiated... You said it. You said the word. Now you said it. Well, I did now because you guys are saying... I'm talking about that irradiated slop 
blood, whatever that Blob? was leaking Maybe into that his sounds he made it viral sounds though. Like a really bad porn. The one that was leaking into his head, remember he had a he had a cut on his head and it was dripping and all right, all right, all right. I have some Spider Man fun facts because that radiated cup. Laugh. <laughs> oh god, There's, yeah, I remember in, in Spider Man Black. Fucking Spider Man kills Mary Jane with his radioactive spider semen. <laughs> He gives her cancer. I did look this up. This is not. He's not making it up. I did look it up. That's real. It's real. We were talking about shocker. I don't remember. I just know it was a bad comic. Anyway, (laughs) also we were talking about shocker earlier. There was a comic where shocker was in prison. I guess the in quote unquote the prisoners awoken something inside him, and he went to a prostitute who can shape shift, and he wanted her to be Spider Man. So you get a crack at Spider-Man. Oh my god! Yeah! <laughs> what other weird comic things may I as he, as, uh, he's, as he's doing it, it's like, WHY WON'T YOU LOVE ME?! It was wow. cool. Spider-Man has some weird comics. And they can be Well, there weird. was one thing that I had heard about oh, Superman. Oh, 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 all right, all right, before, before we get off this comic, we should get off the <laughs> Spider-Man movies. Doc Ock needs to be in it. Because we need Superior Spider-Man. Well, uh, seen Superior uh, Spider-Man? Do you know what Superior Spider-Man is? No. All right. So, a couple years ago, Spider-Man comics, Spider-Man starts acting all weird and like a dick. People are like, "What the fuck's wrong with Spider-Man?" Doc Ock put his fucking brain inside Spider-Man oh, and put I've Spider-Man's heard brain in his yes. rotting fucking corpse body. Yes. And he became the Superior Spider-Man. Yes. What the is that like f- killing the villains? Like, what the hell's wrong with you? Or yeah, Spider-Man gets a gun. Like, it's fucking weird. Uh-oh. It's weird. It's good shit. It's real good shit. If, I mean, I don't know if I have. I think I had those comics. I don't know what I did with them. They were great though. There, there is. I was gonna say back to the the spider base. Well, back to the spider semen shit. There was on a semi-related has note. To be about no, I'm talking. There's. <laughs> that reminded me. There was. A, the, I remember there was a thing that in one of the comics of DC. Where Batman was having a, a discussion with Superman, and Superman was like, the first times with Lois, I had to be like, like super gentle because I was always afraid that I could like basically with just the lightest movement just just rip her in half, and um, I like I could never get too excited. Like he was actually talking like fucking sex talk with Batman. I remember Batman being like, "Why are you telling me this?" <laughs> <Shit like that. laughs> are you sure you're not thinking about clerks and the? No, it was, condom? it was some comic. I remember like Mall seeing rats. the the, the Mall rats. Yes, I'm sorry. No, no, there was it, there was a fucking comic. The, the, well, unless somebody randomly rats. made it up and drew it, but I remember seeing. Rats. No, but like he was like like you know Batman as usual. Like, where the fuck are you telling me this? You. <laughs> but no, it was it's weird. But <laughs> anyway, we've been recording for about an hour and eight minutes now. So just so you want to go that. for more? <laughs> I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, let me see. See, you no, just but... killed the group by saying that. Right. <laughs> we were going for we were in the midst of it. We haven't heard much from Val. And you, yeah, as soon as you said radioactive Hulk juice, you bowed out. I didn't say radioactive Hulk juice. I said just said the radioactive, like, did I say juice? I mean, you know, I didn't mean the what you what you're minting. What I didn't mean what you're minting. Radioactive <laughs> spider juice. Val, say something. You need help. <laughs> I don't need help. These guys are the ones that their minds went straight into that gutter. We just are going with the flow. You know, this is just natural things just coming out here. You're the one that's forcing. I didn't say shit. Spider come. <laughs> First of all, what, what was... is he expecting? Some sort of spider chip to come by and like layer ages fucking somewhere, and then something Spider Man to come by like, hey, I'm gonna fertilize your shit. Was it all, all turn radioactive and all of a sudden we got a bunch of new spider spider babies all over the fucking place? I mean, do we do we really want that? So how about the coronavirus? I heard that's pretty yeah, bad. Yeah, that sounds better than this. <laughs> yeah, this is better. That's that's, that's better. <laughs> what we're talking about. So Rick May. I... Oh uh, yes. Who? Rick yes. May. Who? Rip Torn. Uh, Rick, Rick May. He was who? the voice of. Can I finish? Give him some respect, honestly. Oh, this is mm, serious. This question. Serious. No, this is a serious subject. Rick May, who was the voice of Soldier from TF2, he was also the voice of uh, who was it? Andros Peppy and Peppy Hare. He also had many multiple voice acting roles over the year. Had died earlier this week um, due to being coroned. 
by uh, while being in treatment for a stroke. So we're talking coronid. You got corona, yes. The virus. He got the rona. Claimed it's another. The, verb. the virus claimed another victim. So uh, may he and a, he was a in a sense a celebrity because let's face it, TF2 is popular and it has mm -hmm. produced many memorable memes over the years. The format is very creative. It's easily to manipulate, right? And the guy we just had lost a internet legend in a sense. You know, those who were in the demon community would have known who he was just because of what they were he was associated with. And all I have to say is I have to press F to pay respects to him because he does no, deserve well, that. that. There was a video I saw already today of like the TFC characters all mm -hmm. like a line uh, lined up around a grave with his picture on it and his name on the on the headstone like bowing their heads and stuff i mean so pe yes. the, the, the internet community is already like responding so yeah this this damn thing is 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 ugly but i think we've we've gone full circle because that's what we've, what we've talked about at the beginning but yeah. now you got anything and i think y'all said it i don't have nothing else to say <laughs> Fair. You wanna play us out? <laughs> no. Real quick, just one last thing for me I'll say in just regards to gaming news. And then we can kinda of probably wrap it up. Um the video game ratings. Now going forward they're gonna start adding the Loot microtransaction boxes. on notifications in regards to when you're not gonna be buying the games going forward. That's cool, I didn't know that happened. Yes. So whether or not that make a difference, we'll see. But now they're gonna actually start putting that on on the cases now going forward. I feel like it's sadly this just so ingrained now. We're just kind of used to it. I don't. Yeah. I don't buy my purchases. Purchases for the most part. No, it doesn't. You were talking before. about how you spent like three, four hundred dollars. Wait a minute. I have something to say. You know what doesn't have microtransactions. What's that? Animal Crossing, New Horizons, <laughs> on Nintendo Switch. You know, also yes. doesn't have microtransactions. But you know what on, does? On PC, available on the Steam platform. Oh, it's a fun game. But you know what does? Animal Crossing Pocket Cap. That's bullshit. Fuck that game. What? I never even heard of that game. I'm Animal very... Crossing Pocket Cap. It's on the phone. Was this on 3DS? No, it's oh, on the phone. phone. It's on the phone. Oh it's... man, it's Nintendo has ridiculous microtransactions for Because I have my phone in hand right now. It's you Pocket Cap. Okay. Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. Now, you will get some exclusive furniture if you do have Pocket Camp and New Horizons. I need to get that shit. But, you have to pay for it, so it's fine. But the fucking transactions in Pocket Camp is disgusting. You know, you know Nintendo's the same way with uh, Mario Kart. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nintendo and their, micro and their phone games are terrible. But the real yes. games are great. Yes. You know what else doesn't have microtransactions? Supporting us here at Ogenens Gaming by leaving a like, share, or subscribe on this channel. But if you want to add microtransactions, my snap, my uh, cash app is Nicholas Zombie. We can, can also join merchandise on coming channel. soon. Hold on, you can also join on our YouTube channel, which does now have a functionality which you can actually do like a Patreon-like function. And hey. sooner or later, we will have a Patreon for the channel. Hey, everybody! I, Actually, I'm just going to leave my direct PayPal, just mine. Support no. me. Uh, all these listen, emotional listen abuse. Oh. Hey everybody! I know um, crazy times out there, but uh, I feel like one or two of you must have been stimulated by the government, right? Don't you want to support your friends? <laughs> support your friends here at Odds and Ends Gaming, stimulating us back. Did you say that? Stimulating us back. <laughs> And if, you <laughs> and if you stimulate you know me, if you stimulate me in the right way. You know what happens? We start jousting some generals on the channel. Stop you know saying what? stimulating. <laughs> it's like, I feel like we're becoming no. like borderline porno site. Stop it. Look, now look, here's the thing though. If you are a consenting adult, you can always stimulate our package using your stimulus package yourself. Odds and ends gone wild. Kids, get your Ladies mother's carry credit card numbers. And <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Must be over 18. It that cash app again, Nicholas Zombie. Initially, initially this transaction, and you will get a special edition greeting from Nicholas Zombie. A very seductive one at that. Can we just stop now? I can't do it, too. Please? It's going to be great. <laughs> Y'all are I, grounded. I could do my odds and ends that. after Dark Thing. Listen, I don't want to start OnlyFans, but if I have to start OnlyFans, I'll do it. 
This is hey, you know what? DB7 low slow intro. Oh, uh, real quick, I want to say something real quick. Only mm -hmm. fans, right? Yeah. Now, I'm you've subscribed. Heard that, you've heard that one guy who is a YouTuber and his girlfriend came out and said she has a uh, only fans and shit like that. I'm and sorry, I'll have you continue. I just got a fucking snapping turtle. All right, I'm sorry. Go ahead. All right. Those and things are scary. By so the, way. The, the internet kind of lost their shit because they were they they bad ride on this YouTuber because he's a relatively famous YouTuber, mm -hmm. and uh, they're like, "Oh man, you're a cuck," because you know your girlfriend is now selling nudes on OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't think that's the true definition of a cuck, but okay. Critical, critical, critical penguins, right? Yes. He, I like critical. This one. I love very monotone. Yeah. Uh, he released a video, which he actually was, he had sent some stuff, which actually made sense. Did you call him a cut? Well, no, no. That's, that's up to you. But, here's the fun part. In terms of this girl, she is, actually does have an OnlyFans. But guess what? She's selling Instagram pictures. Pictures that are terrible. already on her Instagram and other places. So basically, she's, she's a fucking genius. She's not selling news, she's selling stuff that's elsewhere. It makes people think that they're buying exclusive photos on only there. That's fucking amazing. That's a it's unhanded, but it's one of those genius business practices because it's just the fact that you know some lonely needs are just trying to, you know, get special stuff from one person thing that oh, she'll be my girlfriend now because I bought her pictures and shit. Which, you know, doesn't work. Hey man, the quarantine's doesn't weird things to us all. It does. <laughs> I mean, did, did you know that I think what the amount of OnlyFans accounts increased by like 70% or something like that? I <laughs> saw this meme. It was Bob's Burgers. Mm. And it was, I can't remember what the mom's name was. <laughs> and it's just her like Linda. flashing her tits. Linda. It's her flashing her tits. And she's like, I'm doing this to save my family. And it's like, everyone's starting to OnlyFans right now. Oh, God. Honestly, <laughs> OnlyFans, there was one fucked up situation. This girl who had an OnlyFans account died, right? And apparently, her mom going. had posed with her nude on several pictures and videos over the years. What? I'm finished. And now, the mother Same is thing. selling the stuff on OnlyFans to commemorate her daughter. And shit like that. By having pictures and videos of them both on OnlyFans. This is taking a dark turn. Yes. Hi, right, everybody. Hey, hang on, hang it's on. It's been a wonderful hang podcast. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We got one last thing to talk about. This is this is how we're going to wrap it up. You're so, right. Let's not leave it with that. No, yeah. Movie night. Our, the thing that we've been trying to plan. Um, basically, we want to have a, a viewing party. So some of you may remember that back for Halloween, our, our the last event that we had for Oddities and Entrails was our Halloween movie night, where we got together and, and watched, and it was the first time for me, Night of the Living Dead. And I think it's time that we have another one. And we actually want to do a live stream with all five of us watching the movie together. And the movie of choice is a public domain film called The Last Man on Earth. I think it's fitting, <laughs> basically the population is seemingly getting wiped out. So, when are we doing this? Keep in mind, my days off are only Tuesdays and Wednesdays and all the other days I work late on into the evening. So, when are we doing this? I thought The Last Man on Earth was a TV series. It's, there's an old movie called The Last Man on Earth. It's public domain. How about yeah. next... How about the 28th? Saturday? The, uh, the 21st or the 28th next Tuesday or t the Tuesday after. We can make it work, but it'll, it'll be sometime, something that it'll that's be in the works. scheduled later. Yeah, yes. we'll, we'll, we'll is notify you. Is this the right time to schedule it? Is this the right time? No, it's not. Well, I'm just saying. Just keep that in mind. That's something we'll be doing. So at some point, we will have our next Odds and Ends Gaming Movie Night. And it we will be to posted us. on the base, but if any. Or a mini oh, video. Channel. Yes, a mini video. Something. Subscribe! Subscribe to our Patreon and send us money so we can see the news on the upcoming videos so that way you know what's in the city so you can watch us, to watch us and stuff like that blah 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 Okay. I have no idea but all I heard was S is posting news. So S it's is come to this. posting news? <laughs> you said it. You said I'm it. asking if that's what you You can find these on OnlyFans. Oh my god. Uh, subscribe to Espionage DB7 only. We're we're gonna end here now because this it's fucking 120. I mean an hour and 20 minutes. 120. <laughs> and yeah, I have a hundred 
minutes. Obs, you're, you're the anchor of the channel. See us out. This is why we don't go that long, folks. <laughs> Alright, for those of you that enjoyed our content, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. It's I, Obsley2003. I'm here with Espionage DB7. The one and only. No. <laughs> I just said Bow. the one and only. Just Bow, welcome right back. Now. Thank you. I'm glad to be back. Miss you guys. Thanks. Even you, SB. <laughs> I'm here. Subscribe to my OnlyFans at OnlyFans.com. Enough with the OnlyFans. <laughs> there you have it. Last but not least, uh, the Glist Zombie. Hey, everybody. It's been a great time. And again, stimulate me back at Cash App, Nicholas Zombie. Don't forget that dollar sign in front. Say. And if you really want the Animal Crossing. Time. And don't forget, to, right. don't forget to catch okay. NickDudes.com. Okay, yeah. we're not doing that. We're not doing that. But Love we that might note. do an Animal Crossing thing. I really want to do that. We'll figure Let's it out. Let's do it. Yeah. And right, if now's not the time. Do that, yes. Send us Please. money and stimulate us. Enough. Cut. Right, bye. Cut. 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 We'll get together with their Animal Crossing. But if anything else, everyone, stay safe. Have fun. Settle down. Settle down. Use protection. Bye.